Hi, I'm Don DeEcker with Mid-Continent Irrigation and welcome to Tech Tips. Today I'd like to tell you a little bit about the Select 2 panel and how we can utilize that to make your job easier irrigating the field. Today we're going to talk a little bit about F position and R position. Maybe you know about it, maybe you don't. First thing I'd like to do is start off with a uh, picture. I love pictures. And uh, we're going to deal a little bit with corn and beans. We have a uh, what's so-called circle here, field. North being zero, as always. We have corn planted on the west half of this field. We have beans on the right half, or the east half. First thing we want to do is irrigate corn, usually, in the early part of the season. So we'd like to pivot just to go back and forth and wipe on the west half of this field. The simple way to do that is to set our F position and R position in the panel, and we can make that happen. Very simple, and you don't have to worry about being out here to change directions in the field or to shut the pivot down and then come back out here, change direction, and move the pivot the other way. So we'll set the map up here for your convenience. We'll show you what we have on the screen here. I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit. And you can help, help you to see what we have in the panel. First thing we want to do is hit our setup button. And it gives us options. Then we hit our select button. And right off the bat it says forward position. What that means is we want the pivot, when it gets down here to 180 degrees, the bottom of our cornfield, we want it to stop and go forward, which is clockwise. So forward position in this case is going to be 180 degrees. So we're going to run this thing with the plus or minus button. We're going to march that thing all the way down to 180 degrees. Okay, forward position, 180 degrees. What that means is the machine will start to go forward at 180. We'll hit select again, reverse position. That's up here at the top of the page. When it hits zero, we're going to want it to reverse or go in reverse. So, it's already set at zero from the factory. So we can leave that there, hit select again, and uh, we're done. It's that simple. We want to verify that process, we can hit this button here, we can go back to setup, options, we'll hit select, we'll hit select again, it says forward position 180, that's where the pivot will begin to go forward, as well as if we hit select again, it says reverse position, zero, that's when the pivot gets up to the zero position, which is straight north, it will then reverse or go reverse and head back to the south and to the west. And that's as simple as it is. The machine will continue to do that forever until you change those numbers or if you don't want it to stop and want it to go full circle, both of those numbers have to be the same. Whether it is 250, 360, it doesn't matter. As long as those F position and R position are the same on the screen, the pivot will always continue to walk full circle, and we thank you for your time. Another note, if we want to change these numbers to match the bean side of the field, which is the east side of the field. We've gotten to the middle part of the season, the beans start to need water. We can go up here, we get to our panel, we hit setup, we have options, we hit select, we hit it twice. We got the forward position in the field. If we look at our map, we want the machine to go forward when it hits zero. So I can hit the plus button and change this 180 number now to zero. There, if we zoom in on that, you can see we have zero forward position. We hit select again, it's going to show reverse position, which when the pivot gets down to the bottom south end of the field, we're going to want it to reserve, reverse and go back on the beans. Not actually reverse, but actually go reverse or counterclockwise, and that number is 180. So we'll sit here, we can hold either one of these buttons, march that number down till we get to 180.
And there you go. That's as simple as is to change your wiper pivot, as you can see on this map, to go from corn to beans. You want to get back to your regular screen, always hit the I button for information. And there you have it. One quick note when we talk and discuss forward position, reverse position on our select two panel here. One has to remember the pivot in this case is setting, it says 304 degrees. You can see on the screen, we have 304 degrees here. We hit setup and options, we'll find that we have the forward position at zero, which would be here. We have the reverse position at 180 degrees, which is down here at the bottom. The pivot's wanting to go back and forth on the east side of the field. The pivot is actually setting at 304 degrees on the opposite side of that piece of pie. You'll find now if we try to start the pivot, it will not, it will not start. So the only way this pivot will ever walk, if it's not in the portion of the field that we selected with our forward and reverse positions, will be to either change the forward and reverse re positions to match where it's at in the field, or a guy can change both the forward position to zero, or 110, or 360, whatever, as long as they're both the same number. Then the pivot will walk in a full circle and that won't hamper you from stopping and starting your pivot. Now at this point in time the pivot will not run because we have it sitting in 304 degree position and I have it set up to run into beans. So what I'm going to do now is get rid of this position here and make them both zero. So we'll go back to setup, set this over here, select, left position is zero, I'm going to make the right position zero so both numbers are exactly the same then we'll find that the pivot will begin to walk again for us. There we go. It's set up again. We're done. Now we'll find if I hit the forward position and run. As you can see the pivot started. I can stop the pivot. I can change direction. The pivot runs fine. If you have any more questions on how to uh, set up a Select 2 panel or a Pro panel or any other questions dealing with valley irrigation or for that matter any, uh, any electrical irrigation center pivots, please feel free to call us at our office at 727-9373. Thank you.